Alright, so, second take on this video. I'm just making it too long, but when you're gonna grow windmills from seed, uh, I germinate them and then stick them outside if you're least in the zone 8A or in the southeastern United States, because I've tried this, um, and these windmills get burnt like this. Pretty bad. This one's, no, I mean, it's growing. I'm gonna have to move these outside. I might give them away when they look better, of course. I don't want to give someone a bad looking palm that's just kind of rude. Um, see how they kind of damage. They're recovering nicely since they're getting a little larger. And there's the stagnant windmills versus the what, draining ones. You can see the obvious winner. Same. The stagnant ones are the one in the red pot. And it, they don't drain, basically, is that that means. So, let me go show you the um, windmills. I grew from outside, I just stuck them in here. They cook, basically for the most part, these look a whole lot better. So, let's show you guys them. I'm, I'm walking over. Um, these are obviously looking better. Um, Growth-wise, the ones in the greenhouse actually grow faster, but the growth looks horrible on them. So I just go away and do this one. Make your palms look better. Of course they will recover, but these are the ones that that were outside you can see them, how they're much better they look they look so much better of course you get this probably where they broke but these are for the most part look much better and this is one that was in the greenhouse in the full sun um uh i'm not i think this is most likely damage from the sun um could have been a couple other things too i don't know if it's a damage from bugs for the most part it just looks like it's completely sun damage that front already looks better, and this is since I've moved it out, so you can tell. So, if you want your windmill palms to look better, don't keep them in 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So anyways, see you guys next time.